What's going on everybody? My name is Havenan and in this video I'm going to play 50 games of Bed Wars and show you the experience wants to do. For those who don't know what Bed Wars is, it is simply put a last man standing PvP competition. You will spawn on an island with a bed and so will everybody else in the game. Your goal is to get gear through the generators on the map protect your bed and break others. If you die in the game once your bed's there, you will respawn. However, if your bed is broken and you die after that, you will not respawn. The goal is to break everybody else's bed, kill them one more time, and be the last man standing. I think that's a very simple explanation of bed wars, but I assume most people know what it is, so I'm gonna jump straight into the video. After 10 seconds of selling out, <gasps> There's still a huge 90% of people not subscribed, so please consider doing so. I'm quite close to 30k and I'd like to get there by the end of the year. Feel free to join my Discord, follow my Twitter, and of course follow my Twitch, because I actually streamed a couple of these games on there. Nice quick introduction, let's get straight into the video. Hey guys, Future Haven here. Totally didn't forget to do YouTube comment shout of the day. Either way, YouTube comment shout of the day goes to Shelly Benz, who simply says, I really appreciate you doing these kind of videos. I can imagine how long it takes, so thank you. It does take a while if I'm being 100% honest, but you know, if, as long as there's people out there that can appreciate that, I can appreciate it. Thanks for the support, Shelly. I hope you enjoy the video. So I'm going to point out a couple of things on the screen that you probably have already noticed. In the top right corner, that will be the game counter. So that's how many games I've played or how, what game I'm currently on. And in the top left corner is currently my team size. So T-O and then the number it stands for team of whatever. The max you can get on high pixel bed wars is teams of four, so it'll never be more than that. And I started with a team of three. Hype to really get into this one. We, you know, started by getting groovy, started doing some dancing. I bought some endstone and just covered my little bed with it. Just wanted to have some basic protection. However, we was instantly charged by the green team. Though they didn't really put up much of a fight, we was able to hold them off quite easily. However, on the second attempt, they did a lot better. Not only was they able to destroy our bed, they was also able to kill me, eliminating me from the game. My two teammates were still alive, but unfortunately, they was also eliminated pretty quickly, so... You know, 50 games where this is really not a good start. Maybe the solution is to get an extra teammate. So in game two, I went for a team of four. And I'm going to be honest with you, this was the ultimate carry that my team did. Simply put, I was just at the base collecting resources. And whilst I was doing that, my team was able to eliminate two full teams. I literally did nothing. <laughs> I tried to help with the third team, but um... Yeah, we did technically win and, you know, I got a kill, so I'd say things are going pretty good. On game number three, we thought the smartest thing to do was to rush the center. In the center, you have emeralds, which is how you buy the best kind of stuff in the game. However, my pro PvP skills were clearly on display here as I, you know, instantly died. My next plan was to try and charge blue, maybe see if I could break their bed, but, you know... Yet again, I died. And then what seemed a bit like a coordinated attack, both yellow team and blue team attacked us at the same time, destroying our bed. We tried yet again to rush the blue team, but unfortunately, we just couldn't take them out. Quite frankly, we got our butts handled us that time. Really need to do better if I want to get some wins in these 50 games. In game number four, we all sort of had an unspoken agreement that we need to, we need to be a bit faster. We need to get stuff, you know, moving. And when I said we, I meant they, because this game lasted three minutes and 12 seconds. I got one kill which was pretty good. My entire team eliminated the rest of the game. I am literally here to edit the video and make the commentary, and my team is gonna carry me to some victories. I'm not really complaining about it. It gets my bed war score up. I was able to get straight into the action on game number five by convincing my crew to basically just charge blue team straight away. Whilst they was able to fend off the team, I was able to actually break the bed and we was able to eliminate the entire team. We went to gear up a little bit, and I bought the most overpowered thing in high pixel bed wars the bed bug. Trust me, it's just that good. And thanks to another well-coordinated attack, we was also able to destroy Yellow's base. It did cost me my life, though I don't really see it as a problem because straight after we charged over to green and did the exact same thing, the only thing we really had to do was eliminate the Yellows that we didn't kill when we broke the bed. And thanks to those OP bed bugs that I mentioned earlier, this was a piece of pie. This was the first game I can officially say that we dominated, that I wasn't carried. So if I can get a couple more of those games, I'd be really happy. Game number six started really well with my teammates killing each other. We pretty much started by finishing off the blue team. Red did most of the work. We just kind of went in and did the remaining stabby stabbies. This blue guy one time, that was cool. And when the plan was to head over to blue and see if we could take those out when, you know, this happened. I don't want to talk about it, okay? However, blue wasn't going down without a fight. They saw us and they was like, we ain't losing to you fools. And they was actually able to destroy our bed. They was actually able to eliminate the entire team but me. I was the last man standing. And I had to take on the entirety of blue by myself. Now listen, let me tell you something. I survived 96 days in Minecraft Manhunt. I play Minecraft UHC. I am a Bed Wars pro. So if anybody can take down these fools, it can be me. 
I will then anyway. On game number seven, we changed it up a little bit and I decided to go solo YOLO for a little bit. Started with the Grey Man charging me, which was definitely his first mistake. And I was able to do a nice counter attack, destroy his bed, and take him out of the game with little to no issue. One of the most common tactics in free for all bed wars is to charge the closest person to you. It's a very annoying tactic, and most of the time it doesn't work in my opinion, but it leaves you more vulnerable for future attacks like in this case. Well, whilst the Grey Man was very underprepared to fight me, this second challenger was, you know, much stronger stronger. He was able to kill me, break my bed, and then kill me again without me putting up really much of a fight. If I wasn't rushed originally by the grey guy, I may have had more time to prepare for it, but I guess there's not really much you can do in that case. In game number 8, I decided to do a little bit of rushing myself. I wanted to get to the diamond generator as quickly as possible. However, there's no point in any type of tactics if you're an idiot, as you can see here. Wyatt was looking kind of sus to me, so I decided it's time to vote him out of the game. So with a classic 1-2 killer -oo, he was gone before you know it. However, his imposter friend Pink was like, hey, that was rude. I want revenge. And he spent the rest of this game trying to get me out. He was able to destroy my bed, and I got as close as I possibly could to dying without dying. I was literally one hit away from death. However, I did survive and eliminate him from the game. The situation is now, though, that there is two people left in the game, and both of them have beds. So I knew I was the underdog. However, it did give me the chance to properly gear up and get some really overpowered stuff. So with some casual hardcore parkour, I was able to get an ender pearl and some invisibility potions, and that is the classic combination to eliminate somebody's bed. Go invisible, use your ender pearl, throw it over, break the bed. He however made the same plan, and though I could not see him whilst he was invisible, my overpowered bed bugs, just want a reminder, most overpowered thing in the game, was able to actually see him. It was a really weird fight of invisibility and bed bugs, but of course I came out on top. Not because I'm good at PvP, but when it gets weird, that's my jam. And that only left me and Red. So, Red actually set up a pretty decent defense with the base, mainly with endstone and water. It was kind of annoying. However, because Bed Wars have now added sponges into the game, it was actually quite easy to get rid of his base. By the time I was over there, his bed was gone before you could even say Timbuktu. He was right there thinking, I'm going to charge this man. I'm going to take him out. However, thanks to a single fireball, yeah, I sent him pre-falling. And I was actually able to kind of clutch it out. I really hope that this one game of decent PvP can prove that maybe within the first seven games, I don't necessarily need to be carried. Probably doesn't, but I like to think so. I went back to team games after that with a team of four. The beds in this game were also broken pretty quickly, so it was a lot of just finishing people off after the beds were broken, like this red man. I did, however, thanks to some well-placed TNT, was able to break the last bed in the game. That wasn't ours, of course. The blue team was something that really made us concerned, as you could probably tell they were very pro gamers. And to finish the game off, despite some very blatant cross-teaming, the only two people left in the game, I was able to take them both out. That's two wins in a row. Huh, I can kind of like the sound of that. Game number 10, and let's start by ignoring the terribly placed 10. I'm sorry, I didn't notice that at the time. How about I make up with another casual win? Let's start off with some nice swift eliminations. We took out blue so quickly. Green took that personally, however, and completely ignored my teammate just walking straight past them and decided that they was going to suicide me off the edge. It only cost them their bed. I mean, no biggie, right? Unfortunately, at the same time, though, they was able to take out our bed. Though during that time as well, we was able to take out three of the four greens. Leaving just this lonely man by himself, but don't worry guys, he joined his friends in the afterlife. I then brought the James Bond out of it by sneaking to Yellow Base and destroying their bed. However, I kind of entered that thinking that it was a suicide play, there was no way I was going to get it out. Until this pro ender pearl, that is. People were yelling at me that I could have potentially taken him out, but I'd rather play safe than sorry, you know? The game was now 3v3, which quickly turned to 2v2 after this man's valiant effort, and the final two yellow boys were hunkered down at their base. However, they'd played very defensively whilst we played very offensively. So whilst they was defending and holding down their base, we was able to basically gear up to the point where the final fight wasn't really a fight. Thanks to some well-placed bed bugs and fireballs, they really didn't stand a chance. In game number 11, we decided to take rushing to a new level. Yellow were barely making a bridge off their island before they were fully eliminated. I would almost feel bad if it didn't kind of show myself being okay at PvP, so you know what, I'll take it. However, I was rushing kind of cost us because we lost our bed. However, there is a little bit of comedy in this, so we rushed Yellow and eliminated them, and then Blue rushed doors, which eliminated our bed. However, because Blue left them exposed by rushing us, Red rushed Blue and was able to eliminate their bed. So three beds were eliminated in two seconds, leaving Red with the only bed left in the game. The majority of our fights took place in the middle of the map, and after multiple attempts, Red was able to eliminate my entire team. 
except me. It was an interesting fight. Whilst they had infinite attempts to try and take me down, they was constantly charging me with quite weak gear, wooden on stone swords. Whilst because of my survival, I was able to get a lot of good gear, like golden apples. I was also using an iron sword, which is obviously much stronger than their swords. By the end of the fight, I was racking a total of 12 kills. That's how many times they charged us. I knew that, quite frankly, I wasn't going to last long unless I was able to destroy their bed. So that's exactly what I did. I was quite lucky and smart enough to get myself a single piece of TNT. I don't normally buy those, but I just thought it would be wise to do it this one time. And with their bed gone, it was 4v1. And after killing this man, it was 3v1. Now... I'm sure if these three stuck together, they would have given me a hell of a fight, but they didn't. They were divided, they were separated, and I was easily able to pick them off. Starting with one tapping this man, sent him free falling a little bit. Red number three then charged me with a very interesting plan, but it went as well as you'd probably expect it to. And then there was one more, the most stacked of them all. And it was close. It was very, very, very close. And I was able to win on half a heart. That is probably the best I will do in the entirety of these 50 games. And I will take and run with it, quite frankly. <laughs> game number 12 was a uh, very slow game. The only thing that's interesting worth showing at the start was this bed bug kill. We did, however, lose our bed. And whilst I was dealing with one of the reds, I kind of had to run for my life a little bit. If I died one more time, then I was entirely eliminated from the game and I couldn't afford that, quite frankly. And because of my, quite frankly, great team, they was able to destroy the bed of red. It was now down to 3v3 and I was like, guys... Bit of an unfair advantage. I think I should um, <clears throat> purposely jump off the map to, you know, ma make things even, you know? Yeah, that's what happened. Of course, my death didn't matter. We still managed to pull out the W. That makes five in a row. Five in a row. However, all good things must come to an end. And on game unlucky number 13, of course, it was game number 13. It started well with an invisible TNT bed destroy. However, Yellow looked at that and took it a little bit personally. And basically made it their life goal to get rid of us. And after a few attempts, they were successful and started picking us off one at a time until we was all eliminated. I think in the end, there's not really much we could have done. We did give it the good old college try, but I think we were just simply outplayed in game 13. Game 14 came and I'll be honest with you, I was AFK at the start of the game. And by the time I came back, two of the beds were broken. And whilst I was gearing up, the final two beds, including ours, was gone. Blue's team's last member was spying on us and I didn't really like that. So I was like, hey, bed bugs, why don't you go deal with him the old fashioned way? So I threw some bed bugs at him. I did the classic stabby stabby. You know how it is. And after killing blue, I was quite confident of killing green. But unfortunately, green had a better gaming chair than I did and gave me the ultimate wombo combo. However, his gaming chair wasn't enough for my great team. Winning yet again another game. Maybe I should just team the entire time. These guys really know how to play bed wars. I'm very grateful for it. Game number 15 and well, I'll be honest with you. Our bed was gone before I could even get a kill. We was able to take out every other bed. However, it did cost me my life when I was taking out one of them. You should know at this point how skilled my team is and they was able to clutch out the game. Very solid showing from the three boys that I play with. I thought that maybe it would have been too easy to just keep playing teams of fours and just winning every game over and over and over and over and over and over again. So I decided on game number 16, I was going to go back to solos. And of course, the moment I go back to solos, I realized that this is not a game I'm going to be too proud of. I lost my bed pretty damn early, though I did manage to get my revenge on the person who did it. I headed to the center to get some emeralds, just to get some gears, and then I made the most classic mistake you can make in a Bed Wars game. So I was able to get to the center but I wasn't able to leave the center. <laughs> I didn't get enough blocks. After it all, I just thought maybe if I do some classic hardcore parkour, I'd be able to escape. Nope. Game number 17, and this game wasn't much better. It basically turned out to being charged by the same guy over and over and over again. In retrospective, I probably should have tried to get off the island quicker, but hindsight's 2020. That being said, I actually was able to hold him off for quite a while. This was his fifth attempt trying to take me out. However, when I was killing him, Green decided to join the party and take both my bed and myself out. I don't know how much longer I would have been able to survive in that situation, but I guess I should probably learn how to be quicker in the game of Bed Wars. Game 18 was a weird game. I decided to focus more on good gear rather than protecting my bed. So I pretty much just left my bed to get destroyed straight away and just, like I say, focused on getting materials. Whilst this was happening, the majority of the game was pretty much eliminating each other. I was able to take out green. That was my only kill in the end. And that left only two players left. And then they just both left. Nothing else I could say, they just both decided that they was done with this Bed Wars game, so win's a win, right? I'm, I mean, you know. Game number 19 came and this basically just turned into a 1v1. Myself and Yella just started fighting each other over and over and over again. I knew my game was going to be a hundred times easier if I could take him out, and I'm sure he thought the exact same thing. However, after a few good attempts, I was finally able to 
get him out of the game, so my game should have been easier, right? Well, you'd think so. You see, whilst I was doing that, Blue was pretty much going on a rampage, limiting every single person in the game, and he was charging directly to my base, and I felt pretty confident I'd be able to knock him off and protect my bed from anything that he would do, and then I did this, and then he did this... And then I tried to do this, and then he did that, and... Yeah, th listen, this is a... This is the classic Haven and Fro. I don't want to talk about it. On game number 20, I decided that I want to just invite my Twitch chat to play along with me. Just a reminder, twitch.tv slash Haven is pretty much where I streamed half of these games. And since it was the last game of the day, I decided I'm going to play a little more Bullsy. I started with this suicidal jump onto Red, eliminating them from the game. I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't really expect to take them out, but I'll take it. And before I could get literally anything else done, the entire game was eliminated. We, we won. It was one of the smoothest victories we could have gotten, and... Well... I mean, I did contribute, I took out Red Team. It turns out it's a lot easier to win Bed Wars games when you have teammates that, you know know what they're doing. I went back to free-for-alls on game 21, immediately got charged by this white man who very, very nearly took me out, which quite frankly wasn't happening. We traded blows a little bit until Pink was able to break his bed, leaving him very, very vulnerable for the classic stabby stabby. However, because Pink took his bed, he also probably felt like he should take White's life, so he got a little annoyed that I did that. And so he tried to take me out, but unfortunately for him, he doesn't realize that I've got some master pro Bed war skills, yeah. However, you, you guys know how bed wars works by now. You charge until you win. I decided to take a nice little trip to Pink's base and bust his bed, and he was taken out shortly after until there was only three of us left. And then they decided to bully me. The two remaining players decided to bully me. I was the only person left with a bed, and so both of them basically came to me at the same time to try and take me out. The only problem is the grey player who was left in the game was so incredibly stacked at this point that... Well, let's just say I lasted a lot longer than I expected in that game. Listen, I don't know about you, but I was feeling like 22 years passed after this game. Game 22 was a long game. This was the first game in about 10-ish solo games where I didn't instantly get charged, which was a positive. So I got a little bit of time to, you know, set up. I took a nice little trip to Yellow's bed. It looked a little lonely and did the classic break. And then I saw White's bed and I thought, that looks pretty lonely too. So I'm going to go over there and break it. Get two bed breaks easy, right? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. The game went on for a while, like I said, and everybody ended up getting eliminated. I must have fought these guys five times each. They was charging me again and again. For, for some weird reason, only me. Only me. They wouldn't charge each other. They would only come for me. And they didn't win once when they fought by themselves. However, because yet again I was the only one left with a bed by the time that this one happened, it meant I was the biggest target possible. And like I say, when they both had a bed and they both were charging me, I was able to hold them off for a while. But then they accidentally coordinated attack to take me out and... Yeah. They were actually quite similar games in the end. I mean, two games in a row. I had the last bed left in the game. Can't really complain. In game 23, I decided to charge the generators pretty quickly. Picked me up some diamonds, thought some emeralds were looking good, and then I... Oh, God damn it. And just to add salt into the wounds of the entire situation, Yellow broke my bed whilst I was free falling, so that was fun. He even tried to take me out to dinner, and I had to be like, Yellow, I have a fiancé. I can't go out to dinner with you. I did get a kind of a funny revenge, though. So, though I didn't technically break Yellow's bed, Pink was charging his bed. Pink wanted to take out Yellow, and I was like, hey, I have this fireball in my hand. I could casually just, oh, I don't know, throw it over to Yellow's base, break most of the protection of the bed so, you know, Pink could take him out. Don't pretend you wouldn't have done the same thing. It was hilarious, and I loved it. And after that, well, let's just say I wasn't able to handle Grey, so unfortunately, he took that win as well. I was still rocking the solos on game 24. Both myself and Red had the same idea. We wanted to get the diamonds straight away. However, my stone sword was much better than his wood sword. And after getting those diamonds, I decided I'm going to try and take him out when, um... Yeah. Shortly after, Red got eliminated from the game anyway from a different player, so I had a bit of a, you know, a run around. I was basically just going around the generators and getting gear when someone unfortunately took my bed. Oh, that was a little rude if you ask me. You know what was even more rude? That both Green and White decided I was the bigger threat. And they both came at me. I was not the biggest threat here. And after a classic good old wombo combo stabby stabby, 
I was dead. I really didn't even get that much done in that game. That kind of is the trend for a lot of these games is I survive a while, I just don't get enough done. Game 25, yes it is 25, I'm sorry I forgot to update the game counter in the corner. And shockingly enough, I got rushed by this white man. It's kind of weird how a white man came onto my land and tried to kill me. That definitely hasn't happened before. He was able to destroy my brave, which immediately put me in a disadvantage. It did, however, give me the chance to gear up, you know, get the emeralds, get the diamonds, the usual. I just start by taking out Green's bed. I don't know why Green in particular. I guess the opportunity just was there for me. And I also had the opportunity with Dwight where, I'll be honest with you, I just played this super poorly. There's no excuses for this one. I mean, I really should have done better, but, uh, you know, what, what can you do? It's, it's Bed Wars. It's only a game. <laughs> it's only a game. I should have to be mad. One thing I did notice on game 26 is that I always seem to be on Aqua Team. I wonder if there's a reason why for that or... Whatever. Anyway, Yella this time tried to take a page from White's game last time and basically tried to take me out straight away. However, what he didn't realize is that I had a much better gaming chair than him. And so I was able to take him out. He pretty much hit me with the classic no you and hunted me down like a dog. Took out my bed and took me down. It was the worst showing so far. It was it was not great. I mean, you know, I even I know I can do better than this game. This was not a good game for me. Game 27 came and let me just say I can admit when I do badly, this one just robbed me. This game just robbed me. So the usual, Grey Man charges me straight away and I'm like, I'm not having that. So of course I managed to kill Grey. I run over to Grey and I'm able to, you know, destroy his bed and I just have to kill him one more time and he's eliminated from the game. And then he was invisible. Not like potion invisible, he was just invisible. And because of that, he was able to kill me. And because he was able to kill me, he was able to gear up. And because he was able to gear up, he was able to not only break my bed, but kill me. Now, I had a better sword, and I had pretty much full health when that happened, so I don't want to say I would have killed him, but I'm just trying to say that if I was able to kill him, I probably would have won the game indefinitely. It's honestly hard being this good that the game has to cheat you out. At least that's what I keep telling myself to get through this. <laughs> okay, on game 28, um... Alright, anyway, so here's game 29, and oh, there's a hacker, cool. Okay, game 30 is actually time to have, you know, a proper game. I rushed the diamonds, but so did Red. Sent him skydiving, the usual. And he had so much fun skydiving, he decided, hey, I want to go again. However, Mr. Pink came over and was very impatient and wanted his own go, taking both me and my bed out in one swift motion. These last few games have been a tough Bed Wars experience. I miss winning with my team. I should go back to teams. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to teams. Here's game 31 where I'm doing a team of three. I did want to like slightly vary it though. I could have got a team together to, you know, basically carry me to the victories, but I thought maybe I should try some random games. So the next few games are gonna just be random games. This is a random team of three. I decided that I was gonna be on bed protection duty to start off with, which was definitely neat since yellow charges instantly like it was a solo game. And so did red apparently, but unfortunately for them, I had my mixtape on hand, so you know, kind of send them playing if you know what I'm saying. It was actually green that was ended up being the biggest nuisance of all the teams. After a couple of fights, I tried to sneak over there with some invis, which unfortunately ran out the second I made it over there, meaning my plan really badly failed. And just to make things worse, our bed was broken and my team was taken out. My first run in team game and, you know, all alone. What a great start this is, but still alive. And I refuse to go down without a fight. Give these guys a little room for the money, you know? Gotta make them earn the Bed Wars wins. But I'll be honest with you, the, the run was very, very short because I was, you know, taken out and we were the first full team eliminated from the game. So a very, um... Great start to the random team games, let's say. Game 32, and look at that, we had Dream on our team. Ooh. I tried to do a sneaky bed break, but too many people were around, and I just simply wasn't able to. And whilst I was doing that, Blue's bed was broken, and I was able to take out all three of them. I did die before the third one died, but I'm still classing that as a triple kill. Take that any day of the week. And that just left us and the green team that I tried so hard to, you know, break the bed of, which their first go, of course, they was, you know, able to destroy our bed. We wasn't able to hang on much longer there, but I'll still take pride knowing that I got a triple kill on blue team. On game 33, I'll be 100% honest with you, I wasn't paying attention and that arguably cost us the game. Whilst I was casually AFK, a team managed to come over, break our bed and put us in a huge disadvantage. In my defense though, I was ordering pizza. However, because we lost our bed straight away, we just got charged over and over again, and the other two teammates just couldn't handle the pressure. I tried to escape the island, but unfortunately, it didn't last very long, and that was the end of my game. The piece was pretty good, though. You know, even though I wasn't rocking the competition, I was actually having a lot of fun with these team games. I started this game by taking out a couple of greens, getting a little too confident and dying quickly, of course. Green did try to counter and attack us, but, you know, 
they failed. To be fair, it's not like I did much better on my second assault, so yeah. I did buy every fireball I possibly could though on the third time of asking and was able to destroy their bed. I was even able to take out one of the team before, you know, burning to death. And I know this little bit doesn't really add anything to the video, but look at this sweet across map shot. Add that to the montage, boys. And whilst I was doing very important things, we did lose our bed. However, though we lost our bed, they lost their bed, so this was now leaving a game with 2v1. We had two people, they had one. I was in the nearby vicinity of the last guy, and I was feeling kind of confident. I thought, maybe if I can 1v1 him, I've got some good gear and... Oh, I froze. Oh, I'm dead. That's bloody rude. Don't worry though, my last teammate was able to get that W. Good on him. Game number 35, it was still random, but I decided to go for teams of four instead. However, before I could even get moving to the funky funky beat, uh, our bed and half our team was gone, so <laughs> yikes. It was pretty much an uphill battle from that point. I've actually never seen a team of four rush so effectively, so honestly, bravo to them. Anyway, they tried a couple times to take us out and we was able to hold out for a while, but unfortunately, yeah, we couldn't hang on for too long. I probably should be quicker, but I'm kind of like an old dog and I won't want to learn any new tricks. I will play my slow Bedwars game and complain about it afterwards. The classic. Game 36 and, well, let's start this with a fireball kill. Always a good way to start a Bedwars game. After that, me and my little buddy here was, quite frankly, just being some sneaky little sausages. Able to take out the remainder of Yellow Team. And whilst that was happening, Red's bed was also taken out. So trading deaths with this guy was honestly worth it. I'll respawn, he won't. Sucks to be him. And by the time I got over to Blue Team, their bed was gone too. So it was pretty much was just a game of finishing people off after their bears got destroyed and we did that pretty quickly so it was honestly a very solid win from us good job team game 37 and i pretty much just camped the diamond spawner i was just being a little creep watching people in the distance and whilst i was doing that our bed was completely destroyed me and my yellow friend tried to do a last stand and we held out for a little while like usual but honestly the red team in this game just dominated they took out every single person i have to assume that they were all obviously friends in a discord call because they were very coordinated honestly bravo to them it was a very good showing game number 38 and the best way to start this game by showing my pro teammates bridge building skills he fell not only once but twice and that's why speed bridging is only good if you know how to do it i did try multiple times to take out the yellow's bed and failed every time and when i finally did get into their base and get to their bed I didn't even realize that someone had already broke it. And then in a blind panic, I was trying to kill my own teammate. You know, the usual. So things were going well. The contribution I did do to this game was I at least took out the last yellow guy. And afterwards, I was also able to take out the last blue guy. So I was able to finish off the teams. It's, it's something. Game 39 was my final random game. And it was a disaster. Before I could even get off my island... Red came, they broke, and they kicked our asses, quite frankly. Before I could even do anything, I was out of the game. It was an awful way to end my randoms, but I had fun whilst doing it. Surprisingly amount of fun, but yeah. I think it's time I maybe stick with teammates that I actually know. Alright, starting game number 40. From this point onwards, all of them are going to be teams of two. And every game is with my buddy Salty. Some of you might know him as the hunter who killed me on day 96 in the 100 Days Hunter video. And our first game, let's just say we didn't take it too seriously. So, first of all, he was bragging about how good his bridge building skills was. And I wanted to show off a little bit, so I wanted to show him my fireball killing skills. He didn't like that, and so he killed me. And then I didn't like that, so I killed him. And then, you know, they broke our bed, which was, I guess, no biggie. It didn't really take, I guess, other teams watching us, it kind of looked like we were a little bit incompetent. And so they charged us, and I died. And then Salt, well, Salt died shortly after, so um, we finished second. So now it's time to take it seriously. Here we are on game 41. All right, then. Now it's time to take it seriously. So here we are on game 42. It started with this very weird freeway fight, which of course we won. Both red and green wouldn't leave us alone, though. So we, of course, showed them how it was done. Until red got to our base, and, well, there goes our bed. It did give us the advantage though to be able to gear up and we was able to break both of the last beds in the game. One of my teammates was killed and I thought that they would have been an unfair advantage being two versus one and I wanted Salt to look good in the video too so I um, <laughs> purposely took another fall as you do. Unfortunately Salt couldn't bring it through. My, my plan to make Salt look good is it, it failed badly and now it just looks like a fool. So you look like a fool. Game 43 came and the usual happened. Both our team and another team charged the diamond generator. 
And after a couple of fights, we was actually able to manage to push them back to their bed. Where this man got the nuttiest wombo combo you'll ever see. Still not happy about that one. However, Salk single-handedly took out the red team, broke the bed and killed both of them. So honestly, well done Salk. I did, however, get one of the kills, so really it should be 50-50 credit. However, whilst neither of us was looking, they was able to destroy our bed, and they also was able to kill Salt. And I was so sad about the situation that I decided to, well, go free-falling, let's say. It's not because I'm an idiot, I swear, I did it on purpose. Game 44 is here, and first of all, look at this simultaneous kill. Couldn't do that again in a hundred tries. Of course, you know, that means the Aqua team was just trying to charge us straight away, the bed war usual. We returned the favour though, got their bed and killed them both, eliminating them from, entirely from the game. I then forgot we was on white team, and uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry salt buddy. It was then Blue's turn to take us on, which of course they failed, which is too good. And then came the longest end game in Bez Wars history. We both had obsidian we both had diamond pickaxes we both didn't really want to leave our beds we eventually started coming out and trying to go but they just would not want to leave their bed and after what felt like 10 minutes i don't actually know how long it was we was finally able to take out their bed and eliminate them both it wasn't easy it took a while but I'm so grateful we took them out. Game 45, and well, we started this game as good as any, losing our bed straight away. However, we decided we're not going to let Pink get away with that. So we gave them the classic stabby stabby, bed breaky, die die. So, you know, pretty great game overall. We was hoping for a little bit better look on game 46, and I'm not sure if you can call this look, but Red just pretty much ignored me and I was able to break their bed. Maybe they're just blind? I don't know. He did pay the price though, losing his life and eliminating him from the game. Speaking of prices, how much do you guys want to pay me to make a long distance fireball killing montage? Because look at this shot. I think he's better than the first one. Anyway, back to the game. I was able to sneak over to white base and break their bed. I wasn't able to take them out, unfortunately, but I did get the bed, which was the most important thing. And they didn't last much long after that. The only team left was green, who gave one final stand. We were just too prepared at that point, and unfortunately, they didn't stand a chance. We'll add another W to the collection. Since we did so well in game 46, it was back to the norm on game 47. First of all, immediately lost our bed. Did manage to hold off green team, though. And they charged me again, which I was able to hold off, which was actually part of my master plan so whilst they was charging me myself as the bait salt was able to break their bed so now they had to play defensive themselves but so did we but i think we're pretty good bed war survivalists we was able to get around getting gear getting generator until the point it was only us versus green with green of course having their bed i decided to try and play bait again while salt was able to break the bed but unfortunately this time it cost my life however this time the sacrifice was worth it because not only was salt able to break the bed he was also able to kill both green members and winners of the game amazing showing from salty and i like to think that i was the best moral support possible if i'm not you know killing him every other game game 48 started with us basically having a rush fight with blue i distracted them while soul got the bed they didn't really last much longer after we did break their bed and then yellow came over and tried to do the classic tnt tactic which unfortunately for them didn't work i was smart enough to stay near the bed and just you know play safety keep protected that kind of thing and then because his bed was broken because of the full damage he actually was eliminated from the game and since both blue and yellow failed it was now pink's turn to try and get us and unfortunately they were successful we just couldn't recover after that they were too stacked and they took us out individually the game Game 48, unfortunately, is a L. Game 49 was just sad to watch, I'll be honest with you. I rushed diamonds to try and get them straight away, but I didn't get enough blocks to get back. And because of that, Blue was able to rush our bed, get salty by himself and destroy it. I tried to make a 9,000 IQ play, but... Yeah, we don't really talk about that. And that gets us to Game 50, where we did the exact same thing with one difference. I got enough blocks to get back this time. I picked up a bunch of diamonds. Salt was able to hold off the closest team that tried to charge us. I tried to get a sneaky bed break in, which unfortunately failed. However, shortly after, Salt was able to take them both out with little to no issue from what I can tell. We started gearing up, but we may have forgotten to, you know, cover our bed. So, ugh. Acro was an entire nuisance this entire game. Not only did they break it, they then started hunting us down. And we was able to hold them off once or twice, but after a while, their infinite respawns was just too much for us. First taking out Salty and then myself, and in the final game, we got second place. And there you go, there's 50 games of Bed Wars that I played with randoms by myself and with a couple of friends. I want to really thank you guys for watching and enjoying the content. I hope you guys did at least. I'm tr Like I say, uh, if you did enjoy the content, I'll ask one more time, please consider subscribing. There's still a huge 90% who aren't subscribe to me um, and it'd be really cool if you maybe consider doing so especially because i'm trying to hit 30k by the end of the year and i think that's all i really wanted to say i really hope you guys enjoyed 
That being said, it's probably time I get back to my Skyblock world. Have a great day, everybody.